I was sorting out the computer after it crashed and I noticed that someone had downloaded an inappropriate image. Was it you? Well, it could be. Was it the farting nun? No, Ben. It was not the farting nun. Or was it the tree man? Ben. Or is it that creepy dude who can lift things up with his mind? That's cool. Ben. Or was it that evil clown song? Ben. Oh, I know. Or was it the Pekingese dog on the lawnmower? Because that made me want to throw up. Ben, I think you know what I'm talking about. I don't. It's a rude part of a lady with no clothes on. Which rude part? The top rude part. What? Both top rude parts or just one? Ben, did you download it or not? Next on Britain's Got Talent is Hippo. Right now, Hippo, what are you going to do for us today? I'm going to eat all the chocolate I can eat in memory of my mother. Okay, then um, off you go. Yum, 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 yum. to Simon Cowell. And that wasn't very impressive because after a while you were sick everywhere and the Queen would not like to see that at all. And now over to Pierce. This act symbolises everything that's great about Britain. And Amanda, I hated it. Now over to Anton Depp. Well, sorry to hear about that, but our next contestant is Elephant. Ooh, Elephant! A robot could have broken in and downloaded it. That's ridiculous. Or Dad could have done it. Why would your dad have a large picture of a woman's chest? Well, Craig's dad does. He has lots of pictures of women. You have to pay Craig 50p to see one. Right. Well... I'm going to talk to you more about that in a moment. But right now, downloading something like that is inappropriate. What does and inappropriate mean? Only I hear it a lot and does it mean naughty? It means uh, behaviour that it's not appropriate, not suitable. Uh, behaviour that's out of place. Out of what place? Yes, it means naughty. So, good day, Mum. Mm-hmm. And yourself? No, not, not too bad, thanks. Hello, and what's your name? I'm Elephant, and I am performing in memory of my mother, who was savaged to death by ostriches. Okay, and what are you going to do for us today? I'm going to set my head on fire. Off you go then. <sighs> set my head on fire. <laughs> <laughs> now over to Piers. It symbolises everything that's great about this country. Now over to Anton Tech. Oh, oh dear, I'm sitting on that. Why is this jam jar for the wasps? One of Ben's projects. Listen, Pete, have you asked your mum about why she's so keen to give us that 3,000? Do you know that I just, I just haven't had a chance, and I really haven't had a moment to talk. Cos it's odd. She's normally so careful with her money and now. Hey, yeah, you want to give me a chest? Yeah, okay. I'm really, really good. Okay, Grandmaster. Forgot. You know this 
this chess club he's been going to. Well, they've asked him to play in an inter-schools tournament tomorrow. Really? It's probably one of those inclusion things, you know. Everyone gets a game, even if they're rubbish. Give him a chance. In some ways, he's quite a sophisticated thinker. So this computer thing, you think it was him? I mean, he does have form when it comes to downloading and uploading. Yeah, did YouTube ever get back to you about that? Yeah, according to their cyber citizenship guidelines, because I'm only in it from the neck down, they're not obliged to remove it. Although they are giving it a parental guidance warning. So you know, I don't think this was Ben. And Jake swears it wasn't him either. OK, Ben. We're a bishop short. So you've got Darth Vader. What do they mean when a woman says zero? Because zero is nothing, so then they'd be invisible. It just means she's very skinny. But a woman can be any size or shape she wants. What about a hexagon? <laughs> no, I meant it can or be... a triangle, because... Triangles are... Well, I meant it doesn't matter if a woman is thin or fat. What if you like this? <gasps> Would that be OK? Well, that... There's a man in Me Mexico and um, he has to get a crane to get him out of bed. He's so fat. Is that all right? Oh, well, no. What I is think... too fat, is it? Would you like to watch some television? No. You know, I've been thinking about those, um, that image on the computer. Could be Mum who put it on there. Me? I found it. She who smelt it Delta. Ben, you need to concentrate. You see, this morning, I walked in on my mum using the computer, and as soon as she saw me, she closed it down really fast. So you're saying that your 68-year-old mother has turned gay and he's downloading soft porn onto the computer? No. No, of course not. <laughs> All right. Come on, Ben, it's your move. Ben! It's Jane. No, not annoying, Jane. Your sister, Jane. Oh, right. OK. Hi, Jane. Mum, uh, Gavin rang. Gavin? The Gavin, you know, the estate agent. He said some people are going to come look at the house. All right, when? Um, seven o'clock tonight. What? Why didn't you tell me? I did tell you, just now. Um... Well, that's one hour from now. Hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. I'll help you tidy up. Oh, great. Thank you. I'll tell Gavin they can't come. I don't care if they come or not, because I'm not moving. Really? It's Sue Brockman. Uh, we can't do reviewing tonight, and uh, in future, if you talk to a teenager, please assume we haven't got the message. I don't mind everybody else moving, but I'm staying here. OK. I'll tell the estate agent to put it in the details. Delightful semi south facing garden and built-in seven-year-old. Well, I'm staying here. And that is all I have to say on the matter. Sue, can I just have a word about something? Go on then. Oh, a word. It's all right. I'm going upstairs. Good work. Anyway, the reason Jane rang is because Mum has offered her a couple of thousand as well. Oh, blimey. And she sent a cheque for £800 to Lucille. Well, why don't you just ask your Mum what's going on? I mean, she's going home tomorrow, so... Well, she wouldn't tell Jane. And she quite likes Jane's. So, you know, something's up. What do you reckon? We'll get some out of the cupboard. 
You move. Mm, I see what you're up to. Yeah. Ben, can you just... Yeah. Ben, please, Ben, Ben, please, no strafing in the kitchen. We don't want another friendly fire incident with the wine rack. Listen, Pete. Maybe we should accept that money from your mum. I mean, she obviously wants us to have it. I don't know, it just doesn't feel right. But you were comfortable enough accepting those gifts from my dad. Yeah. A Betamax video recorder, a cider press, and a Chinese soldier's jawbone from the Korean War. Well, OK, but is that still under your pillow? No, I sold it to Ibrahim. Right, let's see. Checkmate. Don't be silly, Ben. It can't be checkmate. We've only just... Karen! Come back and finish it! I know it was you who downloaded that woman's image. You've been looking at my emails. I saw them, yes. And that, that is out of order. <coughs> You're a bit burpy. You should go and see a burpologist. Is that what the doctor said? No, he didn't. Don't cherry pick the muesli. There aren't any cherries in the muesli. You know what I mean. You pick out all the good bits. The last third of the packet is like eating dust. It's natural sifting. It happens in the tundra. The largest rock sweeps the surface. Oh, not the tundra excuse again. Why did you download that image onto the family computer? It's been melted by a laptop. And also, the resolution on my phone is crap. Jake, it's like... why did you lie to me? Because I know you just go and throw yourself into some overreaction like this. I am not. Overreacting, come back! It was him. Yeah, I had trouble sleeping last night, so I had another go at sorting out the computer. And unsurprisingly, it was Warren who sent in the email. Oh, Jake's been on one of those internet poker sites. I didn't have a chance to broach that one with him. Oh, God. And I don't want to worry you. No, I am worried. Go on. But you know you said your mum turned the computer off suddenly. Well, someone's been looking up symptoms of intestinal cancer. Right. So what with that and her trying to give all her money away? Dad, you want another game of chess? Um, there's not really time, Ben. Who won last night? Oh. Ben won. I kicked his sorry butt. <laughs> you went easy on him. You shouldn't do that. It's not good for children. Well, you certainly never went easy on me. I particularly remember my crushing defeat at Scrabble. Because I was still upset at the start of my birthday party. My fifth birthday party. But if you let children win, you cheat them of that moment when they really beat you for the first time. And if we keep playing Scrabble, Peter, that moment might still come. It already would have if we hadn't spelled Quasi with a Z. It's an alternative spelling. In Norway, maybe. Pete, anyway, I don't think you should let Ben win. Well, all right, Mum, why don't, why don't you play him and beat him? I mean, maybe you're right. I mean, it's important the kids learn how to lose, isn't it? We don't have time. We've got to leave for school. Well, we can start now and uh, finish this evening. I'll set the board up. OK. Just let me get dressed. I've been meaning to ask, what is that thing? Well, that's the elephant in the room. We never talk about that. Why not? No, it's the elephant in... It's an expression. Oh, never mind. President of the United States. Tony 
Blair went back to me about the badges. Yeah, but that probably wasn't him. That was one of his secretaries. Karen, you put your top on back to front. But you said that it was him. Yeah, well, you thought at the time, so we'd probably let you think that. You lied. What would Tony Blair have said if he knew that you lied to a four-year-old? Mm. Well done. They do that a lot. They accuse us of lying, but it's them that lie most. There is a difference between letting a small child down gently and downloading porn. Well, it's not porn, because A, I didn't have to pay for it, and B, it was taken in a public place. Well, hang on, that's... What public place? Orange Garden. Who's it of? Miss Murchison. She, she lives off then. It's one of your teachers. Miss Murchison. Well, how do you think she'd feel if she knew there were naked pictures of her going around the school? It's, it's okay. We, we didn't include her face. The tall one with the red hair. That doesn't make it better, Jake. And what's more, Pete, don't go near that computer. What's more, we need to have a serious conversation. Mum! In the living room now. Dad, look at this. Well, there's your camera. says that we have definitely won £500,000 and it is in our bank account ready to be transferred into your bank account when we're ready. £500,000? Wow, that's so much money. We could buy it. We could buy everything. We could, we can buy, we can buy it. We can be a massive mansion made out of gold. I would buy a robotic dragon with a flamethrower in its tongue and buy a tv which can walk inside it's like the size of a door and anyway what about those magazines you buy those celebrities probably don't want those pictures taken yet you still go out and buy the magazine well i don't buy them i occasionally pick them up off trains and bring them home to recycle. Can I just go, please? Oh, this is serious, very serious. In fact, what you've done is actually a criminal offence. What criminal offence is it? It's... It... Well, it's receiving s s stolen... Breasts. You could get into big trouble here. Oh, yeah! A time machine! Time machine! And you could see us when we're older. Oh, I'd buy the Amazon rainforest. Or oh, right by school and then close it down. What would poor Miss Murchison do if she knew about all this? Buy curtains? Jake, this is very serious. And we haven't even got on to the poker yet. What poker? The poker you've been playing on the computer. I never did that. Well, you said you never did this. I should probably get going to school, to be honest. And to save the polar bears, you could have enough money to drop massive ice cubes and bits of ice onto the onto the onto where they are, so they can be saved. Oh, we could just buy five hundred thousand magnums. Okay, Ben. Now, I warn you, I'm going to play my absolute best. Which do you want to be? Black or white? Black, because it's the colour of death. Right. I mean, they're just teenage boys. They're like baboons on heat in school uniform. Well, unless someone does something, they'll turn into baboons on heat in suits and ties. What if the girls in your school were circulating pictures of you in that? Actually, let's not even think about that. They do have ringtones of Jeff Castle. A relief art teacher in bed with someone. How in God's name did they? No, it's 11J. Best not to ask. If you're in a car that still works at four o'clock. Check. What? You see, there are some things you can't do while playing a Game Boy. Yeah, that's what the man on my checking proficiency test said. Come on, let's get everyone moving. Pete, you don't seem that worried about your mum and all that medical stuff on the computer. No, no, I am. Because don't you think it's a bit odd? Oh, God, it's you, isn't it? I was just 
checking out all various possibilities of my stomach symptoms. You know, you only really frighten yourself when you do that. It's like that time when we got back from Morocco and you convinced yourself you had rabies. It was just that when Dr. Benjamin said he was sending me for those tests, I thought he looked a bit worried. But he always looks worried. He's got that lazy eye. Come on, everyone. We need to go in two minutes. Don't worry about it. You cycled 40 miles last weekend. You're obviously really fit. Has he got another pain? Men and their ailments, eh? Check me. Don't be silly, Ben. That's not... Oh, I think that is checkmate. No, I thought that you... Um... I didn't want to discourage him on the day of his tournament. But aren't you, um, cheating him at that moment where he beats you for real for the first time? He planned that, didn't he? Oh, yeah. We almost certainly haven't won a prize and it's nearly tea what time. What do you mean we haven't won a prize? Look, okay, it's not... £500,000. Well, they, they, they make mommy. it look like that. So you buy their magazines. Well, if it means £500,000, let's buy their magazines. They don't cost that much. Listen, Karen, we are not getting any money. But I've already spent it. What? I promised Maisie Warburton £10,000 for this glow-in-the-dark pen. Well, you'll have to give it back. No, it was no return. Well, you'll have to give her the £10,000 because you don't want to end up in court. Karen. Because I think you probably lose money. Hang on, why's Janice emailing me about nothing? Didn't even know she had enough. Happily destroy this computer, all the trouble it causes. Don't worry about Jake and those pictures. Oh, to be honest, Sandra, I I'm more worried about his late night poker sessions. That wasn't Jake. Well, I'd have said the same about Miss Murchison. No, so it wasn't Jake. So does Ben get his chest? Genes from you. Well, uh, I am. Uh, I play a little. Grayson, the boy he's playing, he's never lost a local tournament before. Ben's giving him quite a game. Addicted to these sites. I'm not sure I'd use the word addicted. Well, if you've lost more than four thousand pounds. This sounds pathetic, but I've been feeling so lonely. And all the guys I've been playing with, Mongo, Little Sex Bats, Cold Just a Kid, Boner, Ace Face, Dog End. It felt like a community. It's a community that took you for four grand. And that's why I've been trying so hard to give my money away to all of you, you know, so I don't just fritter it away. Look, Sandra, I really think that you should open up to Pete about this. Oh, you mustn't tell Peter. Well, I can't keep it from him. Oh. All right. Families worked much better before this talking fad started. <laughs> One more battle noise like that and uh, I shall have to disqualify him. Ben, easy on the battle noises, okay. This is chess. It wasn't a battle noise. It was a horsey noise. One final chance. 
Dear Barack Obama, I am beginning to lose my patience. What are you writing to about now? We had won a prize, but we actually hadn't. And that everyone from Reader's Digest should go to jail and have to wear a bucket and only have a budgie to talk to. Well, I'm not sure you can go to jail for misleading offers. Some people say that jail is quite nice. Is that true? I think that's just the Daily Mail says things like that. It's not nice to have your freedom taken away, is it? They don't even have to go in prisons. If they're really bad, they should just be put in holes in the ground with, with you know, the things that go over a gutter, the big plates, yes. with that over, and so that they stay in the dark, well, and then they have to eat soup and they don't even put the soup in the bowl they just pour it down into the hole and they have to eat it with their hands off of the mud what do you think they should make it really horrible and anyone who does a bad thing um that could hurt someone and they were over 10 should go to jail 10 No mind games, please. No mind games. She's a referee, and that's her son. Actually, I'm an adjudicator. Have you a problem with that? Yes, I have. Oh, I can just see that in the Premiership. Wayne Rooney has been awarded a penalty by his mum because Frank Lampard has been mean to him. I just remind you that we play in silence. Oh, you've got all these rules. We haven't got any rule that says the referee can't be someone's mum. You swarm in here, your first tournament, and you think that... Excuse me, we're trying to concentrate here. Die, Bishop, die. Right. You were warned. You are now done, Queenie. Oh, Grayson. Yeah. Grayson, stop that at once. Yeah. Grayson, stop that. Grayson, please. Yeah. Silence, boys. Boys. Right, so you're going to put the prisoners in fridges and ovens now, are you? Well, you don't turn the oven on. Well, you turn it on a tiny bit, and then after they're in there for about half an hour, then you take them out and you put them in the fridge. And then once they're in there for half an hour, you keep swapping so that they never get too hot or too cold. Yeah, I think that one's been done. I think, I think Stalin had that idea. What do you mean? By the way, Karen, you didn't tell anyone at school about us winning a prize, did you? We told everyone. And what exactly did you tell them? That we won £500,000 and that we were now the richest people in school. And um, Ben said that he would buy the school three whiteboards and a leopard. Right, well that explains a lot. <laughs> Particularly the odd look Celia gave me at pick-up when I asked to borrow 20p for the meter. Oh, well, I'm sorry, Kitty. It, it, it must be so difficult to make ends meet. While we're on the subject, you didn't hear of us winning half a million pounds, did you? Because cause we didn't. Oh, God, no! No, I, I know that's not why you rang. No! No! Don't be silly! No! No, no, no. No, bye! Can I have another computer? He's made a chest, buddy. That's great. You're through to Sue's phone. We have not, repeat, not one half a million pounds. Please leave a message. If you still want to. So what? Okay.
I've told my mates they have to delete Miss Merchant's breasts, stop sending them out. But you know, I can't do anything about the other schools. Schools? It is a World Wide Web, Mum. Yeah, but this won't have gone World Wide, will it? OK. I'm not going to follow that one up. God, I hate the internet. It's full of porn, and, and the kids have access to all sorts of scary stuff that no-one understands. Well, I felt like that at 13 without the internet. Yeah, but you didn't have to go to Richie's sleepover and watch the... Taliban video of some poor tribesman getting his head sawn off. Oh, we were lucky he didn't understand what he was watching. He thought it was a David Copperfield thing. You know, we're going to put the head back on afterwards. Well, that's me packed up and ready to go. Oh! Right. Then, I've got something to show you. What? It's in the garden. Front garden. What? Come on! Oh, God, I'm trying to do something. Can't you see that? Oh, handbag. So, I suppose Sue's told you about the gambling? Pretty much. I suppose we need to sort this whole thing out. I have. Internet disconnected, credit cards frozen, I've asked to be banned from the sites, and if you and your sister accept the money I'm offering, then there's no chance I'll relapse. So, it's all sorted, okay? No, okay, it's just... It's just that sometimes, Mum, these... addictions... It can be hard to stop, because it goes a lot deeper. Is there something... deeper you'd like to talk about? No. Fair enough. Peter, I think Sue would really like us to spend some time opening up to each other. Right. What's it supposed to do? It's cyber vigil software. It blocks your children from inappropriate websites. Yeah, but I can clone that off Oscar's mum's computer. Yeah, well, I decided to buy it rather than steal it. It's so weird. So, quick cup of tea, anyone? I'm making. Everything all right, you two? Had a good... good natter. Oh, yes. Yeah, it was lovely. It was, um, pretty good, really... yeah. Yeah, very good. Uh... Lovely. Yeah. Shouldn't have done it a long time ago. Years ago. <laughs> well, good. There's an email here. Um, it says that Ben's school has been banned from the chess league. Does it say why? Inappropriate behaviour. Ah. Oh. Something must have happened after we left. Look, come on, do we really have to bother with this cyber-visual thing? Yes, we do. Absolutely. 100%. Why? Because, as responsible parents, we need something to defend this family from the dark and dangerous tentacles of the Internet. That's right. Except we need you to install it, because we can't make head or tail of it. 